what I do, I need to, I'm, I'm a right-handed, so I need to put it on the roof, and then turn the ass to me. <laughs> And when it's close enough, I can hear it. I need to get it as as low as my hand can be. Got this. Now I need to change hands. So I'm changing yep. hands. I'm flying left-handed. Here we go in the stream. <laughs> well done. Kids, what's happening? <laughs> we are crazy. We are sailing. Okay, we're motoring, but yeah. we are going somewhere in a in a boat. <laughs> this is Frick, and this is Pietru. We both decided to leave the rat race and sail the globe on our new home, Sisu. This is our little secluded place with this, the moon rise right in the heads, the entrance of this little bay. And we've got two of our friends over there. And we even have goats. The goat is somewhere there. You can hear them. Petra is busy making braai broekies. Getting things ready for a braai. And all the little lights is here. Look at that. But look outside. They can hear water. We are off exploring on the base with her new cover on. Looks very pretty. Even the engine has a nice cover. Pretty, pretty. into the big wide ocean. Yo. This is nice. Our first cave in the Pix. That's a lot of bat. Can we hear them? Mm, this is the dog. Yeah. Up there. Ah, oh, look at them. A whole lot of bats. Oh, they're not happy with us here.
We are arriving at a spot that we just missed with close of season. So we are here, but now it's Corona time. So it's again close. <laughs> We have arrived. Let's see if we can find somebody here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Small step for mankind, one giant leap. It looks close, but we've got our own beer. Battery time. Reload. Give me a Mac. A what? <laughs> a Mac, a magazine. Oh. Reload. You said reload, so I'm reloading. clean the hull today. Let's see whether we can get a little bit further in this cold water than yesterday. Cave hunting. Hmm? Yeah, not cave diving. Cave hunting. Yeah. And look, there they are. There they are. We see huge tunas. There they are. There they are. Ah! But we can't catch them. So we're going to go. There's the cave. We're going to hike all the way up there. They're all waving. <laughs> Okay, so we put a little anchor out and now we need to line up the dinghy more to that side. Yeah, for me. Here we go. And Topex is looking super cool in her new ensemble. Uh, what? <laughs> ensemble. Her outfit. Yo, this is a quite a climb. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Where are you? <laughs> I'm coming. Yo, yo, yo. In Peter's own words, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Ooh. Listen to the tuna. Yeah, I s tuna, tuna. <laughs> tuna is having a breakfast. Oh. <laughs> they are getting bigger for us to catch. <laughs> it's straight, straight down. <laughs> to go, still up. <laughs> How does the goats manage? <laughs> it's like serious, serious straight down. We are having a braai a little later on, so we are collecting firewood. Look at our stash of wood. And there's our fellow Southern Hemisphere Yatis. <laughs> Kirsten and Paul. From Down Under. From Oz. We've got something for safety. <laughs> so only, only certain people think of that. Only certain people I think of that. It's because I'm the fire master, he's like, I think Oh I'm yeah, the fire master. master. <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> never, ever, ever. I grew up in Kami Day or like did not buy her, did not build. A braai with yatis. You want camera? No, we don't want camera. No, your camera is on. <laughs> Pressure is on. Oh, Let's see. And today's Barbie were <laughs> <laughs> on Kirsten and Paul. They collected all the wood. They made an awesome fire. And we just had a cool time. We got woken up in the very early hours of this morning by the coast guard to tell us captain curfew you must leave today so <laughs> we don't got no idea what's happening where and um, we've got no internet down here so the only way we can get any kind of internet is to send the phone up the mast so we can see what's happening in the world up, up and away go find us a signal Galaxy. Okay, Galaxy is on. Hotspot is on. Let's see what is happening. With this big sail, we normally jive instead of tack. Oh, okay. Cool. Anyway, see you soon. <laughs> okay. 
So we headed straight back to the uh, marina. But after the weekend, when the curfew was lifted again, we were all back on our boats and out there sailing again. So we're on our way to a spot close to where we were in Krakowa. <laughs> New fishing rods but I don't want to damage the stanchion so I'm going to try one of Pietro's non-slip and put it inside here and see if it works <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get this one right. First we need to secure the rod to the boat, not to this thing. For that big tuna that we're going to catch. <laughs> <laughs> Running with it. This was given to us by one of our subscribers and friends, Nick Dowden. I think that's far enough, babe. <laughs> I think so too. Because no one can tell us where the, the lure should be, whether it should be 5 meters, 10 meters, 20 meters, in the wake, outside the wake. Also this one a little bit further, then we've got the other one. And Pietro is enjoying the sail so much. It's time to get my herb garden back again. Um, my herbs actually lasted all the way from Cape Town, South Africa, all the way up to here to Turkey, 13,000 miles further. But now in winter time they became all strangy and funny, so I've chucked them all, I've re-swelled, I've put some eggshells and lots of nutrients and stuff into new ground and I bought some potting swell. And this morning on the farmer's market I was so excited, I got new herbs, oregano, cilantro, Basil, chilies. So I thought this is a brilliant opportunity to do the potting quickly while on a perfect calm sail. <laughs> and that is Sarah, a single hand lady sailor. Coming into our anchorage pot where a group of four boats that came for a quickie outside of the COVID 19. We're allowed to come and sail for three days, so we're going to use a spot for two days, or two nights. And Paul and Kirsten in the dinghy, they're also here on their boat, have gone to help her to anchor. Responsible sailor. Corona! Well done! Well done! Well done. <laughs> Oh, and she's having a corona. <laughs> you go, Sarah. And here is our other friend, Chrissy, arriving. Single handed lady sailor. I've got so much respect for them. Now don't get yeah. too close to those rocks. They, they, they I mean, when they came out, the marina ran out. Because if you start swinging that way, it might be a problem. Yeah, right. I think right around here. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give it another go. The water's freezing, 22 degrees, so <laughs> I don't want to fall. 
Okay, and I can't remember from the last time, I think I was paddling like this, but the right position should be like this. I think that's probably why they have the writing on that side, eh? We are going to take Tepex for a ride. Picking up the girls. Oh, la lula. <laughs> okay. These are, are the two awesome lady single handed sailors. They're together on one boat now, but that's the one boat. And there's the other boat. So we've got Matilda. Who's a tomcat? Who is a boy cat? <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Identity crisis of note. <laughs> so meet the ladies. This is Sarah. Hi. From Tramontana. <laughs> and that is Chrissy from Transport. Transport. In Australia, they in the past, in the, out in the bush, they, they used to make what they call damper. And so they put baking powder in with the and thing and they put it in a billy can. In the, Cheers! You know, yeah. Cheerio! <laughs> what is a billy can? I made the first, is that put tomorrow? It's like mm. a... Yeah? So we'll see you over at the bride. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Oh, Always a nice drink. Yeah. I didn't want to escape. No, you cannot push. I'm, I'm forward. <laughs> Too bad. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, kitty cat. No. Not a happy Are we pack, busy packing everything for the barbecue? The topic is already full of stuff. So we are becoming quite social, yeah? So we've got our fire going. Now it's Paul turning the corn. Oh, we're going to have a feast today. So we're all present. We've got the ladies. Oh, we've got Cole from Ro 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 Rover, something Rover boat. They came in last. And that's Paul. And that is Hayley. They're not coming last, they're coming today. And they came in today. <laughs> that's Kristen. And Duck. 